Hello everyone. Our team did a test ride review for the Okaya Fast F4 model. And in this video, we'll share our crisp and concise observations from the test ride. Now starting off, we took the scooter in a very demanding road and we found that the suspension was holding pretty good. There was no sound coming from the body panels either and the scooter was able to glide through the obstacles. Now as you can see in the screen, there is an immense leg space that has been offered. And we'd also like to tell you that the ground clearance is very good because despite riding the scooter at fairly high speeds on a demanding road, the scooter's bottom never grazed the ground. Now in terms of acceleration, we found something very unique to this scooter. The acceleration in economy mode was good. In fact, we came to know as we changed modes that even in mode 2 and mode 3, the acceleration remained pretty same, although in mode 3 it was slightly more aggressive. But what is more interesting is that the company claims the top speed to be 60 km per hour and we were able to touch this top speed in all the three modes, including the economy mode. The company also claims a range of 140 to 160 km. We'll tell you about the battery pack later on. Now, when we took the scooter to smooth roads, the handling of course improved a lot, but we did find the rear brake brakes to be lacking. In fact, both brakes need to be applied to feel more confident and that is because the scooter employs drum brakes and not disc brakes. But the good part is that the brake system is a CBS, a combi braking system. Now the screen visibility despite riding it in broad daylight is quite good and the dashboard contains all the basic information. Even the rear view mirrors are adequate and give good visibility. And like we said, switching to the second mode did not cause a lot of change in acceleration. It remained pretty much the same, did not get any more aggressive, almost like the first mode. Now here are three points that go against this scooter which should have been improved by the company. First of all, the indicators have no sound into them. When you turn on the indicator, you do see a flashing blink in your dashboard and of course the indicator blinks as well, but there is absolutely no sound. The second thing is the horn, which is quite low and has more of a bass. It would have been better to make it a more piercing sound. And then there is of course no side stand kill. For example, even if you keep your scooter in the side stand by mistake, you will still be able to run the scooter and go ahead with it. Now, when we change to the third mode, we did find the acceleration to be slightly quicker, although we were able to touch the top speed of 60 km per hour, like I said, in all the three modes. The scooter employs a modest motor of 1.2 kW nominal power and 2.5 kW peak power. Now to tell you about the battery pack which is more interesting, it has two battery pack modules which has a combined rating of 4.4 kWh. Another thing is that the battery packs are LFP chemistry. One of the battery packs sits under the floorboard and the other is kept under the seat which means there is no boot space to offer and therefore the company is giving you a large footboard. Other than that, the suspension of the scooter held good. It should be good for any Indian road condition and it's a respectable city commute scooter. To know about the customer review of this Okaya Fast model, do subscribe to this channel and we'll be bringing the video very soon. Go green, go electric.